Welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make barbed wire in Blender. Now this is a really beginner friendly tutorial. It's really simple and the cool thing about this will be um, using some Bezier curves that we could easily make our barbed wire follow along so we can always take it and manipulate it, extrude it to make our wire go wherever we want it to go and um, yeah like I said this is definitely a beginner friendly tutorial we're mainly focusing just on making the barbed wire itself and we'll be relying a little bit on modifiers and other than that it's just a super simple material as you can see here but I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial so let's jump in and I'll show you how to make some barbed wire step by step. Okay, so let's jump into Blender. We're just gonna select all of the default objects and press delete. And we're just gonna go Shift A. We're gonna go to our mesh options here and um, just under the mesh, let's just add in a circle. And now let's go into edit mode. And with the vertex select option active up here, we're just gonna come to our top view and just select the vertex to our very left here. And then go Control I or Command I. That just selects everything else. And then we're just gonna press X and we're gonna go delete vertices by clicking on it. So we only have this one vertex off to the side. I don't know if you can see it right over there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into object mode. We're gonna go over to our modifiers, add modifier. We're gonna click on search and type in screw. Then click on the screw modifier. We're now gonna come and we're gonna take the screw amount and drag it up just a little bit. And then let's take the iterations and bump that up. I wanna go with three iterations and let's go to our front view. We should see something like this. Now I'm gonna just adjust the height to round about here. We can always edit it later. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to the drop down and I'm gonna go apply that. And I'm just gonna select one of these verts here on the end. And I'm gonna go E to extrude and Y, extrude it out a little bit like so. There you can see, and let's grab this one down here, E to extrude and Y and extrude it the other way. So we have something that looks like this. Let's tab back out into object mode. Let's give it a subdivision surface modifier over here under our modifiers. And let's come to the drop down and apply that just to smooth it out a bit. So now we're gonna convert it. So we're gonna press F3 in object mode and type in convert. Click on convert to and let's change this to a curve object. So now it's a curve object, which means that if we go over to our curve data properties here, we can go down to geometry and we can come here to the depth under the bevel and just give it a little bit of uh, thickness like so. There we go. Now tab into edit mode and just select this end point here, this handle and go Alt S and scale it till it's really pointy. Then grab this one here, Alt S and scale that till it's really pointy. And you can go one up, scale that a little bit if you want to. But more or less, we're just looking for this shape. You can kind of flatten the whole thing. It's completely up to you, but we're just looking for a very basic shape like this. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go shade smooth. Cool, we've made that component now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go Shift A. We're gonna add in under our mesh options, we're gonna add in a circle. We're gonna come here to our add circle settings and we don't wanna be too computationally expensive. So we're gonna take the 32 value down to 12 or even 10. I think we could probably go down to 10 even should work fine. And now you can see we have this circle here. And for now, I'm just gonna click on this sharp pointy thing, the business end of the barbed wire here. I'm gonna press H to hide it. Now I'm just gonna select this circle. I'm gonna tab into edit mode and in the top orthographic view, let's just go G, X and move it over. Let's go to our modifiers. Let's go add modifier and search and type in screw. There we go. And let's just turn it off in the viewport for now. We're gonna go shift D to duplicate and X and move it over in edit mode. So we have something that looks like this. Now let's give it a screw value of five. And let's go back into the object mode and let's enable it again in the viewport. So you can see here, this is what we have. I'm gonna probably make it bigger. So I'll probably go up to, I don't know, I'd say, let's go with something like 15 meters here for now. Should be fine. And in edit mode, you can always bring them a little bit closer if you want those to kind of touch a little bit more, like so. But that's what I'm gonna leave it at. And I'm just gonna to come to the drop down under the screw and just apply it. Now I'm gonna go Alt H to bring back this barb. I'm gonna select the big column we just made here. I'm gonna go S to scale it down. It kind of just fits inside of there like that. And what we wanna do now is we wanna take this guy and join it to this guy, but this guy is still a curve. So what we need to do is select the barb, just press F and just press F3 and type in convert. 
and click on convert to and let's change it back to a mesh object. So now what we can do, we can select this guy over here at a column. Holding in shift, let's select a barb and go control J and join them. Now we have this weird thing here, but what we can do is we can go over to our um, modifiers. We can go add and click on search and type in array, click on it, then change the X factor value to zero and the Z will make one like so. Now in this case, we could probably just tab into edit mode and just select any part of these two columns and go control L. Let's go G, Z and just move it up a little bit. And now um, if that's not fixing that issue, what we can do is we can always just come here to the Z value and just bring it down a little bit till that tucks in there like that. And now that looks a lot more seamless. So all we have to do now is come here to the count and just bump it up to whatever we want. So let's go something like 10. All right, there we go. And what I'm gonna do is we want to be able to control this somehow with a curve. So we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go Add In under our curves, we're gonna add in a Bezier. And I'm just gonna go S to scale that up. And I'm gonna tab into edit mode. And you can see we have two handles here. Here's one handle and here's the other one. But I'm gonna press A to select all of it. And in the top view, I'm just gonna go G and move it till this end handle sits where the origin point is, like so. So if I tab back out, you can see here it's rotating around there. So what we can do now is select this guy. We go to add array modifier, search and type in curve. Give it a curve modifier and then click on an eyedropper and select the Bezier curve. And then under the deform axis, let's make it Y or it might have to be Z. Yeah, okay, it's the Z axis, there we go. And now it's following that curve and I might just go S and scale the whole thing down a little bit. There we go. That's a better size. And then let's come up here and click on the Bezier curve, tab into edit mode. And now you can just grab this curve and you can make any sort of edit you want. So I'm gonna rotate this a little bit. I'm gonna grab this end one here and maybe extrude it like so, something like this and just kind of have it overlapping. And then tab back out, I'll just grab this barb. And now what we have to do is drag the count up until it fills in that space. And you can keep extruding this handle as much as you want. You can control the curve handles and just keep adding more segments till you have all the barbed wire you're looking for. So that's really easy. So now just grab your barbed wire, go over to your materials, click new and call it barbs. And then just go make it metallic, dragging it up to one, bring down the roughness to about 0.1. And then let's go to our render engine, change it to cycles. And then let's go shift A, add in an area light and just move it up. I'll scale that guy up and under the light properties, maybe something like 300. And let's go Z and go rendered. And there you can see it looks pretty good. I might just bump it up to 1200 because it's quite large. And I'll just go shift D to duplicate it like so, maybe have it coming up from the bottom. Um, but the thing is it's looking a little bit too nice. We're gonna grab it, we're gonna go to our materials. Let's just take that uh, metallic or the roughness up here just a little bit. And I think now that's looking a lot better and I might take the base color just down slightly. There we go. And at this point, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add a noise texture for bump and roughness. That's what I did to my original. But to be honest, um, it. It still looks fantastic, even with a really basic shader like this. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on making barb wi barbed wire in Blender. Um, it's a fun little beginner exercise, and I'll see you next time. If I've earned a like or a subscription, I really appreciate that, and I'll see you next time.